Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG and we are checking out Orbit.Industries. If you've been following me or if you're new to the channel, I love space games. I love explore, build, and prosper style of games and this is all those built together. So, you know, I was super excited when I saw this game. Uh, they gave me an early access two weeks before release. Release is actually April the 21st. I do want to mention you can actually go on the Steam page. Make sure you add it to your wish list right here click on that button and make sure you also down the demo and check it out if you have any interest in this game now I do want to mention that this is an early look at it so things may change we may encounter some bugs let's hit it though I am super excited orbit.industries here we go we're starting a brand new game I got the settings tweaked and we are ready to roll haven't played yet so we're gonna learn this together new mission we got mission type no time for caution endless creative Second home, protective shield, or trade route. Economy, looks all, this is based off your difficulty, it looks like. More revenue for projects, okay. We're going to keep everything on what I would consider normal difficulty right in the middle. And, uh, let's see. Let me see what no time precaution means. While guarding the border along the Gallier system, a wrecked ship of unknown species was discovered. Discoveries like these always bring inherent curiosities. Yeah, I'll be honest, it didn't sound that fun. But it's on top for a reason. They're not in alphabetical order. It must be their like favorite one they want you to try. So we're going to roll with that. Good day, Commander. This briefing will guide you through the main tasks in Orbit Industries. Your task will be to extend the station and produce resources. These resources are needed to generate income from contract work, so-called projects all right or open the station management interface the SMI to have a look around okay oh, looks like we gotta hit the hotkey this view shows all projects which are currently available completing projects will produce income or unlock new technologies and some will progress you through the mission this view shows all projects which are currently available completing projects will produce income or unlock new technologies and some will progress you through the mission Icons inside the project entry show which kinds of resources are needed to start the project. If a system is missing that produces this resource, it is grayed out. In this case a briefing center needs to be built before the project can be started. The station can be extended at connectors. There are blue and yellow ones that each link specific modules. Select a blue connector since the briefing center can only be built there. Okay, so I need to select the blue connector. Not quite sure what they meant. This thing? You have you first have to click on the module and then on a blue connector. Module. I think that means this, right? I don't know. Um What is a blue connector? Did I miss something easy I should have caught there? We're just gonna we're gonna close it. Oh, maybe they mean these. I think that would be considered a module, right? And then the blue connector. Okay, construction. Navigate to the BCE and confirm if some other modules of the station blocks it, it will turn red. You then need to place it somewhere else or rotate it. Okay, so now we get to the BCE. Is where is the BCE? We're getting all kinds of weird. Is it the BCE? Oh, it's in here. I bet. Hold on. BCE. Huh? Where are you, BCE? I don't see no BCE. What is going on here? Navigate to the BCE. Oops. There's no BCE. There's a BOB or B O eight. B O eight M, I guess. Hold on, hold on. The station can be extended at connectors. There are blue and yellow ones that each link specific modules. There's blue and yellow. Select a blue connector since the briefing center can only be built there. Okay, well, actually I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go right here. Done that. Navigate to the BCE. BCE. There it is, right there. Okay, I'm just blind. We're good, we found it. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to drag it. Just confirm a bit. Let's see, we got it selected. There we go. Ooh, that is big. Ooh, that's big. All right. It's pretty uh, nifty. I like the way stuff looks in this game. Okay, modules that produce resources need to be wired to work. Switch to the abstract system layer, the ASL. Okay, it's down here to wire the briefing center. Okay, so we're going to hit one. This view lets you control which resources are produced. Only fully wired systems produce resources. These will be required by projects or other systems. Okay, open the list for the deploy systems and place the briefing center. Okay, deploy system, place the briefing center. Now place it someplace on the grid. Okay, um... I mean, to me, since we already have these three colors here, I think I would put it next to this. Just run the wires. Can I link these? Oh, you can! Look at that! Okay, I like that. I like that. It's like a puzzle piece. That's actually, I mean, that's where I wanted it anyways. Oh, I won't let me do it. Damn it, I thought that was the perfect spot. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. Did, did it say place it somewhere on the grid? I bet it just wants it nearby. I wonder why I can't put it there, though. But I can move it later on. Put it right Systems next to that it. are required by the briefing center are already placed and fully wired. Required systems are shown as input in the overview panel of a system chip or the chip itself. Okay, the time is currently stopped, so no resources will be produced. Click on the time control buttons to start time. Briefing center still needs to be wired itself. Connect all ports to the suitable existing wires. And create new wires. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. You can't create new wires by selecting an existing wire or a port on a system. Okay, so, well, I mean, we have existing wires, so can I just drag this? It does not look like it. Let me see if I can connect it now. Oh, it doesn't look like I can even. Oh, there we go. Nope, st it still didn't want to have none of that. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think we did it. The briefing center is fully connected. Projects that depend on it can now be accepted. How can I connect them? Come on, someone love me. Okay, it's all right. All right, go to the station management interface, the SMI, to start your first project. Okay. The project is now ready to be started. Head over the project entry with your mouse and click on the start button that appears. Okay, so head over to the project entry. That's this, I think. Click on the start button right there. Processing a project takes some time. You can see the progress when you select the tabs to filter on the left. As soon as it is at 100%, close it and collect a reward. Okay. Uh, project on the on the left. Um... Not sure I'm quite seeing that besides active right here. Oh, there we go. 50%. Alright, we'll just leave this open here. Actually, we'll speed it up a little bit, though, huh? Shows me out that it doesn't slowly tick up. I wonder if something's wrong. Or if it'll just jump ahead here. This is ongoing, so... You want me to cancel out of here, though. I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of this. Go ahead and just hit three, close sim. Maybe it wants to come out here. Kind of we'll watch it from here, you know. Uh, is this the percentage? What, wait, why did I lose my wiring? That doesn't make any sense. Should be why it stopped moving, huh?
Oh, it's ready. Okay. So, the collector reward. Let's close it. All right, here we go. More projects will be available from now on. Follow the mission projects to achieve the overall objective. Great success. Commander, Great success. a ship on its patrol on the Galgar system borders found a wrecked ship. The model and origin species could not be determined. They had asked us if we could investigate the shipwreck. Investigate a shipwreck? I'm in. Okay. Um. So what I'm doing from here, let's hit... Nope, nope, not three. Wrong button. Hit two. There we go. Find the shipwreck. Wherever it is. Okay. Tap for information. That's what we want to do. Is there a project? There it is. Okay. While guarding the borders along the Gallagher system, a wrecked ship of an unknown species was discovered. Okay. Okay, so. Start. The rescue team has been dispatched. We expect them to return in a few ticks with results. A running project occupies systems so they are unavailable for other projects as long as the project is active. Excellent. Okay, I don't really know what else to do while we wait. Kind of keep an eye out on this. Thirteen percent done. Okay, let's speed it up. There we go. Now it's ticking up. I don't know what. I don't know if uh, what happened that first time. Kind of a weird situation. But this is what I expect. So. I'm just going to wait this out, see how we do. While we're waiting, if you're still with me, just want to say I appreciate you watching my video. Um, hopefully, you know, you're into this game. It's different. I'll give it that so far. That's what I can say. It's different. Um, not what I expected from reading about the game. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how it plays out some more here. Kind of, I'm teetering. And, you know, I don't know the price point either. That's a big factor in these indie, indie games. Much more tolerable of a... You know, ten to twenty dollar indie game than if they try to pop a thirty or forty dollar price tag on it. A big deterrent, uh, deterrent for a lot of people. All right, we're almost there. Finally, but we get to complete the uh, mission real quick here before we leave. Commander, the rescue team has returned from shipwreck and the results are available for review in the station management interface. Commander, the rescue team recovered an encrypted data core from the unknown ship. Besides that, there was nothing more that could be rescued. I think we should task our scientists to decrypt the data core as soon as possible. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm down. Decrypt data core. Our Boom. best data engineer started to decipher the encrypted core. At a first glance, the used encryption does not reflect any known algorithms to us. This might take a while. Yeah, we're cooking with Crisco here, so it's all right. Oh, it's, it's going real fast. Look at that. Go back out here. No, nope, wrong button. Go. So we got plenty of room to add on here and grow, so that's kind of cool. Something right there. Can't click on it. Like a space station flying away or something. Oh, ship just came in. That's kind of cool. Can't click on it though. Well, that's all right. All right, uh, let's go back in. We're at seventy percent, almost there. Let's see what the financial overview is. There we go. Okay. Leave a comment below, what is your favorite space game that you play? Uh, you know, Space Engineers is one of my Good first engineer. loves in this Our data engineer genre. successfully decided to recover data core. Results are ready to review in the station management interface. Okay, here we go. 
so I think we can hit close. Commander, breaking the encryption was a hard task for all staff involved, but it seemed to be just the tip of an iceberg of secrets. Against expectations, the data core did not only hold ship logs, mapping coordinates or crew diaries. While some data couldn't be restored, a big part of it looked like a compendium of cultural, historical and technological information. An extensive data comparison should be carried out in order to determine similarities with known data. Be aware that credits are only earned upon completion of projects. Hmm, okay. Now we are invalid for this. What we miss it? Whatever this is? It would be grayed out. That doesn't look gray to me. I wonder if this means something else by invalid. Unlocked information status invalid. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can find the, whatever this really viral galaxy looking thing symbol means here. Um, three. We want to go to one and a build, I believe. How did we do that last time? How do we do that? I think it popped up, so this must not be the right area. That's a nice little information panel. That's still wired. I don't, I don't know what to do next here. Oh, duh, I'm in the wrong spot. Hold on, we good? All right, let's see. How big, I bet this, well, let's see. So we want to build. We want the swirly thing, right here it is, AMD, ADM, excuse me. Firm. Big. It's big, I like it. Okay, so that's done. Okay, now we have to wire the module, I believe. Okay, there it is. Ooh, it's, ooh, okay. It's got three systems too. I have the interconnectivity that the other one did, does it? Of course, that didn't work anyway, so. I'm thinking I plop it down right here. Every system that is placed costs upkeep each tick. The amount can be seen on the overview panel of systems or their modules. The global income and expenditure of your station is listed inside the station management interface in the tab finance overview. All right, so you notice now that went from 90, I think it was like 93 to 84. This one's only at 70. So I think I'm losing, I don't have enough power for everything. Also just know this is hab habital. Capsule is not wired, so we should probably wire it. Let's see what we, how low it takes everything. There is yet another resource that all systems need, which Earth. is not distributed through wires, workforce. In this mission you started with some workforce already. This resource is needed to keep the efficiency of other systems at their maximum. So in the end, they will produce faster. Building and connecting workforce systems will increase the maximum workforce that is available on your station. It will slowly increase until it reaches the limit. You can see the available workforce on the left and the required on the right side of the parameter panel. Okay. Well. I don't... And I think we're good for now. I'm not going to worry about too much of that stuff. Whoops, hit the wrong button. So that's wired up. We need to now go into our sim. Nope. Oh, yeah, this is it. Procure. Now we can start this project. The administration team is eagerly starting to filter and category the vast amount of new data. And now I think we just need to wait this one out again. 
We'll speed things up again. It already is, never mind. Well, everybody, while we're waiting here, tell me something that, tell me the game that you're most looking forward to in 2022. Good topic. Leave a comment below. Um, Nightingale is mine right now. It looks amazing. I was a little sad it got bought out by Tencent, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens with it. The company did. All right, we're at sixty-four percent. Let's close this real quick. Let's see what we got to do here. Can we copy this? Doesn't look like it. This must be it must be hard locked right now. Almost there. Finally, we're getting there. A little bit of a waiting game in some of these, huh? Of course, I think I could take another contract if I wanted. Commander, the administration has filtered and categorized the data from the recovered data core. We should see what they found. Data comparison showed that 92% of the contained and readable information was similar to already known knowledge. Within the 8% left that was unknown, star position data extracted from the core showed that the ship was from an unmapped region near the center of the galaxy. Not reachable within the current technical limits and based on its age and engine, the ship could not have traveled the distance by itself. Given the origin of the data, to determine the further procedures with the game's knowledge, a commission of external consultants, experts and decision makers should be formed. Ooh, okay, so this is when we need the red swirl thing. And I thought we just built that. I thought that was the habitable thing. Nope, the commission. The monetary resources of the station are on a critical level. It is advised completing some additional contracts to improve the situation. Yeah, I'm actually working on that. Kind of thought I should probably focus a little bit more on the side stuff. We got one going right now. We might do another one after this. Start one at a time, maybe? Or research. I do have this mission, but we're not ready for it. A lot more waiting in this game than I was going to guess. Um, I'm not totally against it, and that definitely might change later on. Again, this is super early on in the game, but uh, it's not what I expected. I'm okay with it so far, though. Um, I, I definitely want to see what more of the uh, mid game has to offer, and then obviously, you know, the late later game. Being this is mission type, you may not have a lot of, a lot of that, right? Like you may just be building it up and then completing the mission and you're done. But there was a sandbox mode I noticed, so I have to check that out. Now we got some reserves. I want to try to do one more. He's pay really good. Doesn't look like it. Something pretty simple. Let's just do it real quick. Just add. It's like a quickie. We get 560k. Or 
very much to be honest but Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Look at that. It is letting us start multiple. I don't know why. What the difference was, but that'll that'll be very helpful, actually. There you go. That'll make things a little more interesting. So we'll get these done. Then we should be good on money. I would like to think. Might be good now. We could probably start maybe looking at building. We need something. Wasn't the blue swirly, it must have been like the purple swirly. Let's see. What's not it, is it? That thing we just built, so we don't want to build now one of those. If there are two or more blue connectors on a preview module, you can choose between them. same ones we just had one we didn't have the other so we need two I see what's going on okay now that we completed that and when we complete this one we'll have a blue one unlocked I'll wait and show you guys I understand now we're just utilizing it now if we go to missions we only need one more of these okay all right I'm with you game I get you now all right let's go back go ahead and actually start doing one of these real quick Build my, I gotta, gotta add the money. We need to build something, anyways. So, another one of these. I, think I can build onto that one. I can put one beside it. That might be okay. Let's see what it looks like. Build these. Confirm. Now I think we can do that mission once we get the other missions that we're doing done. So, once active, these two active ones are done, which they almost are already, that will free up the, this is really the only thing I think that I'm missing right now, that'll free up the modules that we need, it's done, I think I can do it now, right? Oh no, I still need that one. Oh, it says I still need one of these, what the hell? Well, maybe I'm wrong. We got those done. Yes, this is I'm missing something. Another one of these. Did we just build that, or did I build the wrong thing? Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I didn't wire it. <laughs> All right, we got this. We got this. I just gotta, just gotta wire the damn thing. All right. So, put it right beside this one. I think. What's that do. So I look cool. The output of a system is distributed to its connected systems. Oh. If a system gets less than the maximum of any input resource, its efficiency is reduced. This will slow down progress of running projects that depend on these systems, while the upkeep costs of the used systems stay the same. Alright, so did that wire that? Is that what that was telling me? It looked like it. There we go. Rocking and rolling. And we can start that mission Thank you, finally. Commander. The first steps to form a commission are underway. Oh. 
All right, it's going a little slow, but not bad. Is there any weekend other we can start up? No, we used too many resources. We could, okay, I get it now. So I can technically go ahead and add more on just so I can be doing more missions right now. Like as long as I got the money for it, right? That makes sense. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm picking up what you're putting down here, game. Really, know if there's anything I need to build, though. I mean, like workforce, they mentioned, so that might be good. Go ahead and throw one of those on habitat pod or whatever you want to call it. Didn't open any doors for us yet, but we're utilizing a lot with this mission, so it's going to be done soon, which is nice. Commander, the Commission has completed its analysis of the data and made a particular interesting discovery. More information is available in the Station Management Interface. Further analysis of the recovered data core revealed an extremely advanced type of subatomic energy compound. For easier communication, Omega Q was chosen as a project name for this compound. A basic resource for Omega Q is a rare metallic mineral. The Commission requests the construction of a mine to start the production of Omega-Q. Alright, this looks like we're building a mine next. that go on the space station though? That seems weird. Probably like a mining platform, I guess. Omega Q. All right, let's see. Let's see what the Omega. Let's just do that way. Let's look at the Omega Q mission. It'll tell me what we need. This thing. Okay. Let's just find what that thing is. I don't have that thing, so I'm really confused. I have to research it, maybe. Man, oh man, am I confused. Can I rotate? Yeah. Hmm. Can't connect this. Okay. Kind of a bummer. Oh well, we'll just set it right here. Current status of credits is getting critical. It is strongly advised taking on some additional contracts. We on it. We on it. Making some money. We're back. We're also at a good stopping point. I think this should give you a good idea what this game um, is going to be initially starting out. Um, I'll probably do another video later on. Uh, probably finishing this mission. So finishing this whole mission in this game. Uh, look for part two of this video. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content and have yourself a great day.